I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today it's no makeup, hair natural, lounge around day in my house. It's a Thursday, which is normally what I do on Thursdays. So I taught 5.45 a.m. spin today and I have another class tonight. And I'm actually cooking up breakfast right now. Um, it's kind of late in the day. It's like 11.45 and it's very late in the day for breakfast, but um, I just wasn't hungry until now. So I haven't been eating until now. I posted a video yesterday all about how to start a healthy lifestyle. And a bunch of you guys, loved the video. But a lot of you guys also said that you don't know where to start. This is like what to buy, sort of like what I buy, what I look for, and how to use your groceries, how to meal prep your groceries appropriately. So I know a lot of people say eating healthy can be expensive, which I totally agree with, it can be. And I think that the prices are disgusting for how much a healthy meal is when you eat out versus like an unhealthy meal. Eating healthy can be expensive and I totally get that. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to kind of budget your money and get a lot of healthy foods for a cheaper price. My biggest tip is to have a grocery list and to stick to it. And I go grocery shopping in two places. So I go to the farmer's market because everything is super cheap for produce there. Um, there are a few other farmer's markets around me that are pretty expensive. Like I was at one yesterday and a pound of bananas was 89 cents, which is really expensive because at my grocery store, a pound of organic bananas is 59 cents. And at the farmer's market I'm about to go to, I can get five pounds of bananas for $2. So I always have a running list of produce that I wanna get. Now today I'm gonna to be doing a lot of green shopping because I watched this documentary last night and I wanna try switching it up a little bit. It was called Hungry for Change. It was really good. You only buy what you need. I would buy a lot more like Brussels sprouts and stuff, but I already have some Brussels sprouts left over and this should last me a pretty good bit. I'm running low on carrots, so I'm gonna get some baby carrots. I'll get blueberries, I like that on oatmeal and in, in water it's good and stuff. Pineapple, I kind of want it for juicing, but I'm not sure. Spinach, I have spinach, but is it good is the question. Spinach looks fine, I don't need more spinach. So then once I'm done looking at the produce in my fridge, then I go over to my fruit bowl, which is over here, and I just look what's in here, do I need anything? So all I have in here is a lime, and two apples because I ate all my fruit. But all I'm gonna put in here is apples and a lime. I used to get like peaches and like all this stuff, but I never would eat them. So I'm not gonna get them anymore. I have garlic here. Those are dates. I love dates in my smoothies. I think they're really good. Okay, I think I'm good on produce. Once my produce is done, I'll look in my fridge for anything else that is not produce that I do need to go stock up on and rebuy. All right, so I need to get some hummus. Do I want a zucchini? I have one here. No, I don't need a zucchini. Um, I have bread, I need bread rounds. I have three acai left. Fridge and freezer is good to go. Now I'm gonna move on to my pantry. This is where I keep like all other foods. So peanut butter, I just got this baby peanut butter. Oats, I'm good on because I have steel cut oats. Then I open this up, granola. I could get another thing of granola. I always use granola. Okay, I am good to go. So this is my list. That's about $60, $55, $60 for a week worth of food. So like I said, I just sort of calculated it all and it should cost no more than $60. And since my um, farmer's market is cash only, what I'm gonna do is only take out $60 and I'm gonna go to Wegmans first and um, that way that I only have cash, I'm only using the cash and I'm not using like a debit card or credit card or anything cause that, you know, it can kind of feel like not real money. So it's easier to spend more when you're using like a card as opposed to cash. So I came to Wegmans and look who I find, Natty. And she's wearing my shirt. So I was like, nice shirt. And then she was like, nice shirt. Cause I'm wearing her shirt right now. <laughs> I need to get out of the produce section cause I'm buying my produce at the farmer's market if you want to attend. Oh my god, I look, I am a creature. <laughs> There's bananas over here for 59 cents and then bananas over there for 49 cents. Those are the organic ones, those aren't. And like I said, at the farmer's market, you can get five pounds of bananas for $2. So I'm skipping out on those. Chia seeds, since it's like a really raw food and because, I don't know, it's like good for you and there's a lot of it, this is definitely gonna be the most expensive. This was $5.49. And then the browns, I don't think I'm gonna get these because now that I think about it, I have two loaves of bread in my hizzle. So I'm not gonna get those because I'm gonna use up the bread. And since the chia seeds are so expensive, you gotta put your money towards something else. I realized that I ended up not eating like a few of the things that I said, like the bread rounds I ended up not eating because I have two loaves of bread in my freezer. Peanut butter, I have like that small jar of and I have a little bit left in the other one, so I'll make those work. 
And the yogurts, I mean, I have two left over, so it's not like I really need any more. So this is all that I'm walking out of. Um, how much do you think it's gonna be? Uh, $20. And then this is farmer's market. All the stuff, all the produce, all the goods. Oh, I love Wait, mangoes. $6 a box. I want to get mangoes. I know, it's good prices here. Wait, I want to get one. Okay. They're not right though. Well, they get right from home. I'm going to get one. I should have I got all of this at the farmer's market. There's so much more I'll show you guys when I get back to my kitchen. Well, this was $24 and this was $22.25. So that's awesome. All right, this is all of the goodies that I got. I am very happy about all of this, very excited. And best news, it was all under $50 for all of this. Um, so this is what I got from Wegmans and my Wegmans order was $24.74 and that's all I got. And then from here all the way over, that was $22.25, so it's much cheaper to buy produce at a farmer's market. And no, I'm probably gonna get questions like, I don't have a farmer's market, farmer's market near me. Where do I find one? How do you get them? You have to dig and you kind of do have to look for them. Go on Yelp, go on Google, ask your friends, ask around, ask people that have lived there for a long time. Farmer's markets are pretty much wherever you go, so you just have to look for them. Okay, so let's start with what I got at Wegmans. So I got two things of vegetable broth. I was running low and I just needed two more granola because it's my favorite um this is hummus i always get the big size because i go through it like a mad woman uh chia seeds these are just great for detoxifying your body protein fats everything chia seeds are like life and then veggie burgers because i enjoy veggie burgers and that was it okay now moving on to all of the goods so here we have some blueberries i got some broccoli golden delicious apples five pounds for $2, wait, I should try and remember how much everything was. This was $1. These were, I think, I think it was like two pounds for a dollar. Um, the broccoli was two pounds for $2.50. These are avocados, each of them. It was two for two, so a dollar each. The limes were $7 for one, or seven limes for $1, but I only got three, so it was 50 cents. Um, the limes were four limes for a dollar. Uh, this is kale. I think it was two for two fifty, but I only got one. Celery. It was also two for two fifty. I got so much celery, and I don't really like celery, but I'm gonna make a juice in a second, and I'll show you guys what to do with all this food in a second too. And it just smells so good, so I think this is a new leaf for me. Cucumbers. I think it was three for a dollar. Pineapple. This was I want to say two or three dollars for one pineapple. Bag of carrots was one dollar, and then sweet potatoes. Um, it was. I think it was five pounds for 350 and I only got, I got two pounds. Okay, so that was um, my food. So now that you have all this food, I know that a lot of times the question now becomes, okay, I have it all, now what do I do with it? So I'm gonna show you guys how to maximize your food and how to food prep and meal prep in advance. This isn't like a meal prep because I'm not making meals and then storing them in my fridge. What I'm doing is I'm gonna cut up the fruit, cut up the stuff, and show you how to effectively have it ready. And then I'm gonna show you guys a juice to detox your body so that when you buy all this food, you're ready to start fresh, start clean, and you know where to start. Because I know sometimes it's so intimidating to have all this food and be like, okay, well, my body still feels really slow and really sluggish. I'll show you guys a great juice you guys can make to detoxify your body, get all the toxins out. One thing I love doing is transferring granola into little containers like this. This way you can mix granola if you want. I'm about to go teach a spin class. Uh, not right now, I haven't like gotten dressed or get, gotten ready for it yet. But 
Um, I haven't made the smoothie yet or the juice yet because I have not been hungry at all. So I'm going to make it when I get back from spin. So that's why I'm going to look like really sweaty and weird after spin. Spin is over. I'm back in my comfy clothes. I just had a little bit of dinner. And now I'm going to show you guys how to make like the green juice to kind of reset your body. So what we're going to be juicing today, I have kale, three stalks of celery, baby spinach, we're gonna do half a cucumber because this is mostly water so it will make a lot of juice. One lime and one apple. my stuff in wet jars. I don't know why, it just makes the experience so much better. To detoxify the body and reset it, chia seeds are like the best thing you can do for your body. I'm serious, they are the best. So just sprinkle some chia seeds in your green juice. It's so good. Ooh. It's so good. It is good. It's like the perfect sweetness. Mm -hmm. Pineapple would have been too sweet. Yeah, the apple is a good touch. So this is great to drink. Um every day to reset your body it's really good to drink to flush out all the toxins because like what i was saying earlier a lot of times people will buy all this food and they don't know where to start um they feel like you need a fresh start and that's why a lot of people start on mondays or in the beginning of a new month beginning of a new year this is your fresh start all you have to do is drink this and your body's going to be cleaned out um, but i really do recommend to watch Hungry for a Change, it was really good. It explains pretty much a lot of what I was talking about in this vlog. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys like budgeted videos like this. Um, if you want more, I can give you guys more recipe ideas or anything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy it and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.